I think uh, let's get started with this session. Uh, this is security monitoring for all your connected devices. I'm Ryan D'Souza with uh, AWS. And uh, <clears throat> in the session today, we're going to cover how AWS makes it easier for customers to secure, securely monitor all their connected devices across OT, industrial IoT, edge, and cloud. <clears throat> So as uh, all of you are aware, there's always an increasing number of connected devices in the enterprise. And that number is, uh, is only going to grow. So it is important to securely monitor all your connected devices. With connected devices, it also introduces new threat vectors. Some of these threat vectors are indicated over here. So you've got uh, denial of service, so a device could get compromised and may participate in a denial of service attack. You have uh, lateral threat escalations, surveillance of user activities uh, on the network. You've got uh, sabotage attacks on operational technology or OT. It is possible to have cryptocurrency mining on an edge appliance. So a, a powerful edge device may get compromised and may be used for cryptocurrency mining activities. And last but not the least, you can have OT ransomware, uh, as well as data being exfiltrated from the device or from the factory or from the edge. <clears throat> so with all these threat vectors, it is important that you monitor all your connected devices. These include microcontroller devices, so devices uh, that are used in consumer IoT as well as devices used in industrial IoT. Um, for these devices, it is possible to use and apply zero trust security principles when connecting to AWS IoT services. The second class of devices are CPU devices. So these are edge computers. These are edge appliances, more powerful machines. Um, and these devices, it is also possible to apply zero trust security principles when connecting to different services in AWS. And last but not the least, there is a category of devices for operational technology. These are programmable logic controllers, HMI systems, SCADA systems, as well as enterprise IoT devices. These are printers, these are scanners, uh, smart TVs in your enterprise. The challenge with this class of devices, it is difficult to put an agent a security agent on these devices. And therefore, the technique used for monitoring these devices is agentless network monitoring. So let's uh, deep dive into the IoT devices and the edge devices for now. How do we securely monitor these devices? So in order to monitor your IoT devices as well as edge appliances, AWS offers AWS IoT Device Defender. AWS IoT Device Defender is a service that can be used to audit, to monitor your connected devices. You can get alerts, and you can take mitigation, take mitigation actions. So what is audit? With audit, you're auditing the security policies associated with your devices. So you set up IoT policies, and you audit these security policies to ensure that these policies follow security best practices. So that's what, uh, that's what the audit capability in AWS IoT Device Defender does. So what are some of the audit checks? Some of the audit checks are related with uh, authentication. So when a device authenticates to AWS IoT, how is the device authenticating to AWS IoT? Uh, does every device have a unique certificate? Are devices sharing certificates? which is not a best practice. So you can audit the authentication mechanism that you're using on these devices, including authorization. For authorization, it's about IoT policies. So have you set up overly permissive IoT policies, which should not be the case. So if you have set up overly permissive IoT policies, with the audit check, you can actually pick up these overly permissive policies and take action. The last is uh, logging in your account. So have you, have you turned on logging in AWS IoT, and that's another uh, audit check. So let's look at detect. 
With Detect, what we're doing is essentially monitoring the device behavior. So you can monitor your IoT device behavior. You can set up a rule that defines what the normal behavior is. OK, so for example, is your, uh, devices, um, uh, is your devices having multiple connection attempts, right? Or uh, is the device sending an excessive amount of data to AWS? So these kinds of anomalies can be picked up with AWS IoT Device Defender Detect. So with AWS IoT Device Defender with uh, Rules Detect, what you're essentially doing is setting up a security profile which defines the normal device behavior for your devices. What happens if you do not know the normal device behavior? So in the case where you do not know your normal device behavior, you can use machine learning. So AWS has brought machine learning to IoT devices with AWS IoT Device Defender ML Detect. With historical data collected from your devices, you can use machine learning to set the normal device behavior. What are some of the things that you can monitor? So you can monitor for standard, standard metrics like authorization failures, so the number of connection attempts. Is the device trying to connect and disconnect multiple times, which is an abnormal behavior? Is the device trying to send an excessive amount of data to AWS, which may be an abnormal behavior? So these kinds of device behavior is what is defined in standard metrics. Once again, there are two ways to set up these standard metrics. You can either set, up it, set it up with a rule, which is rule de rules detect, or you can let machine learning collect historical data and set the normal device behavior. Now, what happens if you have certain metrics, security metrics, which are not part of the standard metrics? So in that case, if you have certain metrics that are unique to your fleet of devices, to your specific devices, in that case, you can use custom metrics. So in custom metrics, you define your own metrics, security metrics for your fleet of devices, and you can use uh, custom metrics with AWS IoT Device Defender. So this is an example of a custom metric. Uh, one example of a custom metric could be the number of applications running on the device, or the number of processes running on the device, a configuration change to your device. These kinds of, uh, these kinds of metrics you can define in a custom metric in order to use AWS IoT Device Defender to then monitor those metrics. You can get alerts, and you can take mitigation actions. <clears throat> so when you do find these uh, alerts, either through audit or detect, it is possible to send these alerts to Security Hub. Security Hub is a service where you can get a comprehensive view of security in your environment. OK, so you can send these alerts from your devices into Security Hub. So you've used audit, you've used detect, you've got some anom anomalies, you've got some alerts. Now you need to take mitigation actions. So one of the mitigation actions could be you want to push a software update to these IoT devices. So you can use AWS IoT Device Management, the jobs capability, in order to push software updates to IoT devices. You may want to securely connect to the device that may be behind firewall, behind firewalls for troubleshooting. So secure remote access. You can use AWS IoT device management, the secure tunneling capability, in order to securely connect to devices behind firewalls for troubleshooting in order to take a remediation action. So we looked at a few services. There are many other services that AWS offers okay, for your security monitoring of IoT and industrial IoT devices. These services include uh, services for connected asset inventory, services for unique identity and access control, patching of the devices like uh, AWS IoT device management, management jobs that I mentioned. You've got services to secure the edge gateway. So you've got credentials on the edge appliance which needs to be secured. AWS has services that can help you secure the credentials on the edge appliance. Establishing a secure connectivity into AWS. So from your devices, how do you securely connect to AWS, as well as secure remote access to on-prem devices in your network? Uh, services to encrypt data at rest, as well as in transit. Services for security monitoring across the attack surface. 
services to alert and mitigate, and finally, uh, backup and recovery that is backing up of OT data and device data on AWS. So let's take a look at another class of devices, and these are OT devices, as well as enterprise IoT devices. In this case, you need to be able to monitor these devices. It's not possible to put agents on this device. So you can use either active techniques or passive network techniques in order to monitor your network. And this is the OT network. So with this, what you can get is device visibility. So you can, do a vis you can get visibility of all the devices on your OT network. You can also understand what are the vulnerabilities on those devices. And you can set up continuous monitoring to get threat detections. It is possible to send this security alerts and events into Security Hub. And why is this important? Because of the interconnected nature of these devices, uh, a, secure, a security event can originate in OT and may move to IT and cloud. Or it may originate on the IT and cloud side and move down to OT. And therefore, it's important to monitor your across the entire attack surface of OT, IoT, Edge, and Cloud. So you're able to bring in security events, not only from AWS IoT device to vendor, but from our partner solutions as well, as well as alerts from other security services into Security Hub, which can act as a single pane of glass for security monitoring across OT, IoT, Edge, and Cloud. So this is an example of uh, monitoring of OT as well as IoT devices. As you can see, this is a security hub screenshot from the, uh, from the security hub console. And uh, if you look closely, you can see that there are AWS IoT device defender alerts from IoT devices. There are OT security alerts from our partner solution, Clarity X Dome. Um, and you can see IoT events alongside OT security events in security hub. So what about uh, you know, the ability to consolidate security data from different systems into a single place? Uh, with the explosion of connected devices, you need a modern approach to be able to collect data, normalize data, and use that data, security data, for analytics. And you can do that with uh, a security lake. So with Amazon Security Lake, you can bring in security events from different environments, and that's what we'll take a look uh, over here. <clears throat> so these events also can come from OT. So these OT security events can be sent to Security Lake. So finally, the Security Operations Center, you've got devices in different environments. It may be ICS OT, which is industrial control systems and operational technology. It may be devices coming from IoT and industrial IoT. It may be devices coming from the edge, as well as cloud security events and alerts. You can bring all this information into a central data lake on AWS in Amazon Security Lake. You can consolidate that data. You can normalize that data and make it available for analytics. You can use your own analytics tools on this data to support different use cases. It could be security monitoring. It could be threat detections. It could be incident response, whatever the use case may be. This data is in your AWS account and available for security analytics. So to wrap up today, uh, there is clearly an increasing number of connected devices. That number is only going to grow. The growing number of connected devices also means an expanding attack surface. This expanding attack surface needs to be protected. Each of these devices fa face unique challenges. Some of the devices you cannot put agents, and you need to use different techniques, like active and passive monitoring of the network in order to monitor these devices. Common patterns of uh, uh, attacks and threats do exist. For some of the devices, like modern IIoT devices, it is possible to use security techniques like zero trust security principles. Finally, it is important to monitor all your devices in your enterprise, whether they're IoT devices, industrial IoT devices, or OT devices. 
and AWS and AWS security partners uh, can make it easier in order to monitor all your connected devices and improve the security posture in your enterprise. Uh, with that, I want to thank you for uh, joining me today.